This is Brennan Poole, and you're watching the Checkered Flag Crew. I'm here with the driver of the number 48 DC solar car for Chip Ganassi Racing, Brennan Poole. This, this year seems to be the turnaround year for your team. What do you think has been the key to your success? Uh, just a really good group of guys around me. Um, everyone on our team really seems to be clicking really well, and, and we all seem to trust each other and believe in one another. Uh, so that's been awesome. And then, of course, just having the backing from DC Solar and all the belief they have in us as, a, as an organization has been great. Um, so I just feel really blessed to be a part of this team, and we keep on clicking off some good runs. We just got to keep it up and hopefully get to victory lane. Uh, I noticed that off the track you enjoy playing golf. What's your favorite course to golf on? Oh man, I love to go down to uh, Jekyll Island and play the course down there. Um, I've been doing it since I was a little kid. I went and played with my dad when I was like 10 years old. Uh, I actually just went there uh, about a month ago and played with him for, for, for the first time I've been able to play this year. So uh, I love that. And then of course, just like my local courses um, in, in uh, North Carolina, uh, I love this little course called Warrior, Warrior in China Grove. Uh, I go there with friends and, and uh, play a couple rounds uh, through the summer, so it's fun. For a golfer as myself, I'm a very bad golfer. What pointers would you give to me to improve my swing? Uh, to improve your swing? I w it's just tempo, man. It's all about your tempo. So you got to stay with the same swing and the same pace all day and make sure you try to do the same thing every time you step up to the ball. Routine, routine, routine. I recently found out that your favorite type of food is Mexican food. What place in the U.S. would be the best place to get Mexican food? Uh, my favorite place, you know, I grew up in Houston, uh, Texas, and, and um, you know, growing up as a kid, I always went to this place called Mario's. It's kind of like a local spot in, in Spring, Texas, um, just outside of my own town. But if you're in the Houston area, the original Nymphas, hands down the best. You got to get enchiladas al carbone. It's amazing. What's your favorite Mexican dish? Um, I, I, I usually get enchiladas every time I go, but I like it where it's like fajita steak. In Texas they have this, it's al carbone, it's like chopped steak, um, and, and that's my favorite thing. And I, and I love like salsa, I like trying all the different types of salsa. In Texas, a lot of places have it where it comes out and it's like warm, it's temperature warm, and I love that. Well, I'll definitely have to head down to Texas to get some Mexican food because I like Mexican food too. I also noticed, I also noticed that you're, um, you're a Texans and Rockets fan, is that right? Yeah, I love the love the Houston Texans. They started there when I was just a kid. I was in like seventh grade uh, when the team started, and my grandma was a big football fan. And and um, you know, I, I was born in California. We were always 49er fans. And when we came to uh, to Houston, and that team started. We just latched on. I remember watching the games with my grandma uh, every Sunday, and so um, it just some, becomes something I love. And then I, I always loved basketball. I played basketball in high school. Uh, a huge Rockets fan, a uh, big James Harden fan, and. And I've been a big fan of Corey Brewer this year and last year, so uh, I, I keep up with those boys. Also seeing that you're a Baltimore Orioles fan, how'd you get to be a fan of them growing up in Houston? I used to race for Bull Rider race cars uh, in Pennsylvania, and, and, and when I raced quarter midgets in the first Major League Baseball game I ever went to, I was 10, and uh, it, was, it was a Baltimore Orioles game in Camden Yards. And so I try to go to at least one game every year uh, in Baltimore. I got some family that lives there, my cousins, um, you know, so I try to go up there and catch a game. I, I, it's weird that that's my favorite team, but when you're so little and, and, and uh, it's the first game you've ever been to, it's just something you latch on to. All right, so now we're going to start a segment called Either Or. Basically, I give you two options, and you choose the one you prefer. So, first one is early bird or night owl? Uh, I'm definitely a night owl. <laughs> uh, ketchup or mustard? Oh man, I probably better say ketchup. My girlfriend probably get mad at me if I said mustard, but we put ketchup on a lot of stuff. Bacon or sausage? Oh, bacon. Yeah, bacon's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter or jelly? Uh, probably peanut butter. I like like Reese's cups, and um, I, I would say that's probably where it draws the line. Pe uh, Butterfingers, peanut butter. I'm talking about candy, not like anything healthy, but yeah. Yeah, I like those both. Reese's cups are the best. Yeah. Um, Driving or flying? Oh man, depends on the distance, I guess. Um, I, I guess I like driving and jamming out to my music. I, I play guitar and listen to music, my you know, all the time. So I love just like blaring my tunes really loud. Um, but far distances, I'd rather just get there, and, and um, flying's much easier. Okay, so pen or pencil? Um, pen. I remember in high, like when you get to high school and you could finally use a pen, it was like finally. You don't have to use a pencil anymore. Okay, and the final one, coffee or tea? Mmm, I drink coffee way more than I drink tea. I like sweet tea, but I'm not like, if I want something hot in the morning or something like that, I'm drinking coffee. Alright, 
Thanks to Brendan Poole for taking the time. For more content, follow all our social media and make sure to visit checkeredflycrew.com.